What's going on guys, it's Tux back with another video. Um, today we're gonna be looking at Plain Jane 1.4.1, the latest update to Plain Jane. Um, by now, you should have already gotten an email um, letting you download the newest version if you're already a customer and, and purchased Plain Jane in the past. If you don't see an email, um, I will check your spam folder first. And um, if you still can't find anything, um, just make sure that you have your order number and your email ready and hop in the Discord and open up a ticket and uh, someone will take care of you. Um, but shout out to the whole Discord family. Um, thank you guys for all the support and your patience while we were trying to get this out. Um, despite all the stuff that's been going on with uh, FKX Media, you know, trying to copy some of our stuff and other people play or like, uh, you know, pirating stuff and all sorts of other shit going on. Um, but without further ado, let's get straight into this, this video. Um, so this video is just going to be like an overview to show you guys all the different features that's here. And then after I'm going to be doing, um, a series of videos, uh, breaking down each new feature and how best to customize it and what all the settings mean. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, so as you can see, some of the new features are the email sign up and password page email pop-up. We made like a pop-up window thing. Um, you can turn on or off. It's up to you. Um, we have a footer, uh, collection list page, and also we added some search functionality, um, some improvements. Uh, you can now go up to six columns on the collections page. Um, you can change the font on enter screen uh, menu separately. So when you your enter screen, you can change the font on that those main menu links separately from the entire site, basically. Um, you can remove the logo and time on enter screen. If you kind of want to veer away from Supreme Look a little bit um, when loading up the page, you can do that by hiding, you know, your logo and the the, the date and time. If you just want to like, just an enter button and keep it simple, the video background or something like that. So we thought of that um, and thought we should give you guys that too. Um, uh, endless scroll is now also an option on the collection pages. So we had some people, um, you know, asking for. Uh, the ability to kind of break out of like the supreme like box e kind of look and allow the products to kind of flow to the end of the page so we had that option in there if you guys want to do that and um you're able to now add and modify the size of the price and the title labels on the shop page um that's something a lot of people have been asking for also and then bug fixes we fixed the mobile menu icon was overlapping the announcement bar a little bit so in this update you know that's completely fixed so you won't have to worry about that um, and there's, you know, there's tons of other bug fixes too, um, that we, that, that we went through. Um, so, but for this video, we're going to focus on this section up here. Um, let's see this new feature section. And we're going to be taking a look at a demo store that we had made. Um, we made two new demo stores, a one blonded Frank Ocean, um, store, and then another one for one of my favorite brands, Aleeks. Um, we did a demo store, uh, with, with that brand as well. So. We're gonna take a look at both. So the email sign up password page, here's a great example of that here. Um, as you can see, you know, we just have a box here and this this is all fully customizable. You can customize, you know, the background color, the opacity of the box here. Uh, if you wanna add like an outline to the box, you can do that. Of course, we have the logo, time and, and, and date here, uh, header text, some description text, and the most important thing is this email sign up thing here. So while your store is closed, you can guys can collect emails. Now, if you want to do like phone numbers, um, we aren't able to do that in the theme itself. That's something that you have to get a Shopify app for. We want to add it in here for you guys, but um, from doing tons of research, we saw that it wasn't possible. Shopify doesn't really um, allow us to. So you're going to have to use some kind of um, app, some text app. And if you join the Discord, I'm sure some members can... Um, recommend some really really good ones for you guys um so there's that and then if you want to log into your store you can click the store owner link right here and then the password will pop up and you can just enter your store that way so that's about everything when it comes to this password page here um next we can take a look at the email pop-up let's get a look at that we can go, go to the blonded frank ocean store very quickly Log in. Don't worry about that's not the pop up. <laughs> Here we go. So this is the pop up that comes with 
um, the theme. That previous pop up was just from a Shopify app that we were playing around with. But this one is the the pop up that comes with um, Plain Jane. So it's a full screen pop up. Um, you can add your logo up here. We put the blonded logo here. Um, of course, like header here, um, some description text. Um, and of course, you know, where this is where you can put the email address and things like that. And then we have this little nice animation here on the X button. It's like a really nice touch. Um, and that's about it. You don't have to have this pop up on if you don't want to. Um, we have a toggle to where you can turn it, you know, on or off um, based on what whatever you're trying to do. Um, let's see what else is here. Um, hold on one second, guys. All right, guys. So um, next we have the footer, um, which is uh, we did quite a bit of work here. And let me show you guys how that looks. Um, so we're going to X out of this. And you guys can take a look. It's a really, really dope store. We're going to put a link to it um, here soon. So you guys can check this one out maybe get some inspo. Um, but yeah, we have the footer right down here. Um, you can add your links here, um, you know, like privacy policy, terms, and conditions, all that kind of stuff. Um, we also have search here. We're going to get into the search functionality um, also. Um, you can add your logo here at the bottom, um, a headline for your newsletter or whatever you want to call it. Maybe like you can put something like, um, you know, sign up for early access to drops or something like that to, to get people to subscribe. And um, I'll show you guys how this works. You get a, a cool little message after. Subscribe. And thanks for joining. Nice, simple. And then we have this little credits here at the bottom. Um, when you download the theme, it's going to say plain Jane at the bottom. You can change that. Um, all you have to do is, is find the section, go to the footer section, and then um, you'll see a credits uh, box. You can type whatever you want here. We left this here for you guys to put whatever, you know, if you want to put disclaimer or, um, you know, just a simple copyright, you know, your brand copyright in the year or something like that. So we left that open for you guys. Um, that's it on the footer. Let's look at the list the collection list page this is probably one of the cooler pages and the most one of the most customizable features that we've made so far um we go to frank's picks here and basically it's these cards that represent the different collections that you have um you can come to this page and put whatever you want here and i think it's really really great if you want to um you know create cool categories um or you know just whatever you want to do here honestly and the cool thing about these is once you hover over them, it has a really nice animation effect that follows the mouse, um, you know, as you hover and the background changes the text and you can set all of this. So the front picture is um, basically so if you, if you create a new collection in the back end of your Shopify, you can add a, a photo to it. And this this is how that first photo is getting loaded in. And then in the customizer, you can customize and put whatever photo you want to show on hover. Um, we'll, we'll be doing another extensive video kind of breaking this down and showing how to go about using this feature. Um, and we'll also have like a kind of like a specs um, document that we'll share with you guys so you guys can um, size your images um, perfectly so you can get the best results um, for your brand. Same thing with down here. You know, you can have another photo in the background like this. You can just do like um, a color and we have like a little glare that kind of goes over things. So it's really, really dope. Um, yeah, but that's it when it comes to this collection list page. Um, and then the last thing we'll be covering is the search. Um, so if you go down to the bottom, um, this is where we have it right now. But you can also, this is really just a link. So if you want search on your shop page, all you have to do is just add it to your, your desktop menu or the shop menu. Um, and you can have search on your website. We're going to do some more work with search and future updates and um, probably create like a, you know, a cool icon and um, some other things that, that that we got planned for you guys. Um, but let's take a look. So we have search um, and all you have to do is type in whatever you're looking for. Actually, I want to look at this other search because I have it more, have it designed better here. This is the elite. Pause the music here. Um, okay, cool. So let's hit the search here. 
And this is how it'll basically look like. And if you type in, let's type in shirt, for example, search, everything comes up, the nice little cards, the little uh, pop-out animation, and it will just, you know, continue to, to show depending on, you know, whatever you search. Um, so that's basically about it, guys, when it comes to the latest updates. Um, in some other videos, we're going to get more um, in depth with these new features and show you guys how to best customize it so you can um, get the most out of the Plain Jane theme and really, really customize your brand. Um, you know, the whole goal of Plain Jane is to create one of the most customizable um, Shopify themes that will give you quality and um, allow you to really differentiate yourself um, a bit with your brand, even though it's, you know, a Shopify templated theme. So uh, thank you guys. Thanks for listening. Um, you know, leave me a thumbs up if you guys like this. Uh, drop a comment if you have any questions. And if you have Plain Jane and haven't joined the Discord, you like and get in there. Um, but that's it. All right, guys. Peace.